Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 6th, 2023. Boy, yesterday we had just another one of those choppy days as I kind of alluded that the possibility was there in yesterday's video, and it, it didn't disappoint. A lot of chopping around, a lot of whipsaws. Today could be very different. And the reason I say that is we have some data today that could really get things moving. And as you can see, in the pre-market, we're already getting some pretty good love here. We had good um, price action for the most part. Only the Nikkei was down in Asian markets. As a matter of fact, Hong Kong was up strongly, up 1.58%, which could help the tech sector today. We also have Europe decidedly bullish across the board this morning, really moving strongly with um, some good upside potential. And we have our bond yields just a little bit lower here today uh, from yesterday, but they are starting to push back up heading into this data point. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as you can see, we, we're, we're definitely overdue for a relief rally here in the market, but there just hasn't been any energy to get that going here just yet. Today might be different. Now, if you notice across here, we have a level of price resistance that we just snuck out of on uh, yesterday, just barely snuck out of there. A couple of hammer patterns in here on the bottom uh, for the diamonds, trying to push on up. So where do we go from here? Well, my initial guess would be uh, we first need to really kind of take a look at that big old black candle there and see if we can breach the top of that. If we can break through the top of that, we may be up here testing this downtrend area in the chart. And then keeping in mind, we may stretch on up into this next resistance. Now, noting that this next resistance is a pretty strong resistance in here, it's gonna take some effort to get up through there. So we're probably gonna need some good data to make that happen. We'll wanna watch that close here today. Now, if we take a look at our moving averages, we will want to remember that our moving averages um, are coming down our shorter term, 50 day moving average rolling down, 34, 20 moving average rolling down. This black line is the eight exponential moving average. So it wouldn't be an odd um, idea for us to rally up and touch that um, eight exponential moving average and you can see it's right there at the top of that candle that black candle if we can push on further you'll notice the 500 day moving average is right about that area where we're going to come into significant price resistance and our 200 day moving average is above that you want to note that uh, next week sometime we could have our 34 EMA uh, crossing down through that 200 day, creating some significant technical resistance in that chart. Let's uh, take a look at our SPY, SPY also just kind of hovering in here. We tried yesterday to get things going. Um, just, you know, we didn't get a follow through for a bullish candle on Wednesday, just kind of hung in there. Not really much happening this morning trying to get a little bit of a bump here. You can see in the pre-market, trying to get something going. You want to note in that, however, that right above that area, we've got a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart that we'll need to be dealing with to try and push on through. And if we can push on through there, then we're going to be looking at that next level above in this downtrend to see if we can break through that downtrend. Next level above, I think it, we're gonna have a little bit of congestion right through this range right in here. And if we can push through that, you'll see right, right across here. 
just a little bit of congestion right in there. And if we can push through that, then we're up here testing this more substantial resistance level in the chart on the SPY. Now, looking at our technicals here in the chart, you can see we haven't quite made that test of the 200-day moving average, which is a little odd when we're this close. So if our data is bearish today, don't rule out the possibility that we could come on down here and test that level in the chart. And if the bulls can continue to push on on through then we're going to be looking for those price levels right up in here to see if we can test and break through just keeping in mind that we're still well below our 50-day moving average and there's going to be some significant resistance as we get past these initial levels here in chart taking a look at our qqq our qqq remains the strongest of the indexes and with hong kong surging last night we may have a better chance of kind of pushing out now you'll notice in here this downtrend we may be squeaking out from um, underneath that today um, obviously we held these august lows it is the strongest of the indexes um, nvidia did a really good job in fact the biggest job of lifting this index yesterday we'll look at that here in a bit but moving on up you can see we've got quite a little bit of congestion right in this area here so we need to push through that area and then we can kind of pop up here and test this more substantial resistance area in the chart looking at our technicals here um, Oh, oh, by the way, if the bears were to finally, uh, were to not finally, but were to be inspired today by the economic data that we're going to be looking at here in a moment, then we could easily break down through that area and then we're starting to come down into the next areas of price support. And that is certainly possible with the data that we have coming today. Let's take a look um, technically here in the chart. Rallying back up, you'll want to note we're still well above our 200 day moving average but we're going to kind of pop right into some technical resistance right in this area 34 exponential right in that area so if we can breach this high right through here we're going to be pushing some of that technical resistance i had mentioned um whoops i had mentioned um, nvidia and you can see nvidia had a really nice day yesterday today i talked about this one in the morning prep yesterday for that possibility. This popped up, broke through that resistance in here, held that higher low, started to push on higher. So I think Nvidia may have some upside opportunity. You will want to be keeping in mind that there is quite a little bit of congestion right in this area for it to push through. But it's looking good here at the moment, just assuming that our bond yields don't um, start racing back up on the data that we collect today. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM, the most bearish of the indexes. You can see we've had a couple little um, patterns here, a hammer and a little spinning top in here, trying to get something going. Um, it's got some work here to do. We're pressing in the pre-market and we may be pressing this resistance level if it can hold. So we've got some price resistance through here, trying to press up through there. We'll wanna watch that pretty closely. And this goes across the chart for a long ways. Um, watch that carefully if we can break through that area then maybe up in here notice we've got a little bit of a gap right in here between this black candle and the next one above maybe we can press up into that area maybe test this downtrend here if the bulls can keep going if the bears were to find inspiration in the data today um, i think there is that chance that we could reverse and be right back down here testing these lows in the chart if we go beyond that you'll notice that it could be a painful drop um, if we go beyond um, that support level in the russell let's take a look at our vix our VIX yesterday pulled back um, after surging to the upside just a little bit, but you'll want to note here in the chart that we really didn't accomplish anything, at least yet. We're holding on to this price support level in the chart. Remember, we still 
broke that downtrend and we're holding those higher lows we definitely need a relief rally but we're going to need to see some of this fear dropping out with the futures pushing the way they are this morning we might just get that today we get that fear uh, dropping out and we start pushing this back down for that relief rally that we desperately need here in the market but that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to zoom all the way back to the top if that data happens to be bad today we could easily use this area of price support and just keep on rising in fear so we're going to have to be a little bit careful this morning as we um, uh, wait for that number to come out here uh, before the bell let's take a look at our uh, t2122 now our t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio i get a lot of questions on this remember guys the t2122 is not meant to tell us what the directional move of the market for the day is it just tells us where those pressure points that we have in the market when we're overbought or oversold and we are clearly in the oversold region in here in the chart but we'll also want to recognize the fact that if that data comes out and inspires the bears well the, this little bit of rally that we have has opened up that opportunity that we could push back down and we've seen that here just recently where we pushed up and well reversed right back down pushed up and reversed right back down so that certainly is a possibility if that data supports the bears that we have opened up a little bit of room for that downside move however if it supports the bulls we have a pretty substantial upside where we can move hard to the upside if those bulls can get going and keeping in mind we need that relief rally um, to push into some next resistance levels just to set up the next opportunity for short if that's the way the market's going to go so watch that carefully if we take a look at our t2108 here's where we start running into that bit of a problem here in the market where we're just not getting momentum we had that <coughs> A little bit of upside yesterday but it really was just a whole lot of chop you'll notice that we barely improved here in the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average only about 17 and half percent of the stocks um, above their 40-day you want to notice if we do get a rally going we've got some uh, resistance levels in the chart that we're going to have to be dealing with on that rally back we're certainly oversold we're certainly very very bearish in here giving us that hope of that relief rally but keep in mind we can go lower if the data is bad today um, we can break back down through this level of price support and we can go lower we've been lower before in the recent months so watch that closely if we take a look at our T2107. Well, our T2107 was absolutely unimpressed yesterday. It just couldn't, there was just nothing um, there um, being inspired to really do much. 32%, 33% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Notice that we've got resistance in the chart. If we do get that bullish move, lots of resistance in here to be thinking about if we start to rally to the upside. So watch that closely. And obviously we certainly have more downside potential if that news today happens to inspire those bears. So keep that in mind. Our T2101, this has been kind of an interesting situation here where we've seen as sellers come in we've been seeing breadth increasing in the market we haven't really seen um, the buy side of the market increase on the breadth and that's just because we have so much uncertainty in this market with all the things that we have circulating around so kind of keep that in mind we've been moving in this downtrend we're pressing that level up here we really need to see something special today in the data and that inspiration where we could see that breadth expand on the buy wave if we can get that going, pushing that through that area of the chart. If we happen to catch that buy wave today and we get that relief rally beginning, but we start to see the breadth decline, that's a problem. And we'll wanna watch carefully for that next area for the opportunity to short the market. Let's take a look at our 
um, economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well we know what we've got coming here today to be thinking about and it's all going to be in this data this morning the employment situation number keep that in mind right now the consensus is suggesting a number that is a little bit light um, as you can see consensus is looking for 160 the prior was 187 here on the non-farm payrolls that's suggesting that the job market is still too strong and could encourage the fed to keep those rates higher so we we'll want to watch that carefully what the fed really wants to see is the things that we as as um, you know the the general public doesn't want to see we don't see want to see people going on the unemployment line but that's ex exactly what the fed is looking for they want to see more folks um, um, on the unemployment line and um, a reduction in the growth of jobs so that they can beat that inflation portion back of the wage price spiral where we have um, so many open positions out there and to get those filled companies have to raise those wages and as they raise those wages that money gets spent out into the, spent out into the economy just spiraling that inflation and we've been suffering from that here and now the market is really starting to recognize the fed wants to press this to a point of breakage and we'll want to watch this number carefully today could be um, uh, either very bullish or very bearish depending on how that number comes out remember if our ADP was anywhere close the ADP number this week was anywhere close to what we should see here this would be a big miss on this and sharply lower in the non-farm payroll number we could even see the unemployment rate instead of ticking lower uh, tick up if um, that were to occur so watch some of these numbers in here it could be a very interesting report today and move the market substantially and it could go either direction um, let's take a look we've got Waller speaking here um, at noon Eastern we'll want to watch that Baker Hughes and then we got a consumer credit report certainly important but not likely to be market moving since we'll be coming into the end of the day so let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today and unfortunately there is nothing on the earnings calendar today to pro provide us inspiration so it's going to be totally focused on that economic report today there are no confirmed reports for today and that means um, to all eyes will be on that employment situation number to find inspiration, whether we'll be bullish or bearish. So be careful there. Although we're popping up this morning in the pre-market, that may not hold um, if that number is or comes out um, uh, to inspire the bears. So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find those videos to be useful, to be helpful, if you could please do me that favor and that'd be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Um, I truly appreciate it. It honestly humbles me every day. And um, thank you so much for the kind support to this channel. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, uh, a lot of the things that I would suggest today might be something to add to your watch list and just wait until we get some better uh, signals here in the market uh, for potential trades. Um, I would not rush into anything here um, just at the moment. Let's take a look. As you guys remember, I mentioned WDC yesterday in the morning prep. Um, to watch for that possibility that this hold right in here of trend could pop out and really start working against um, this big resistance area in the chart. And it did pop. Unfortunately, the volatility of the market ended up pushing it back down. We, we climbed right back up here at the end of the day to hold right there just above that area 
in the chart. So I do think this um, has plenty of potential. I would watch and wait for the next opportunity in here. This might have to rest after breaking through that area up here, but if it can rest, then I would look for that next opportunity to the upside. WDC has been holding up very, very strong here overall. So watch that one uh, closely. Now, um, on the short side of the market, my goodness, we have had just a crushing blow to some of the defensive sector stocks out there. They're just getting pounded. And I'm guessing um, one of the reasons that is the case is because the consumer is weakening and, and we're finally starting to recognize that in the market. Take a look at CPB. Now CPB, um, ugly uh, price action yesterday, pushing down, but I want you to notice this big area of price support in here. If CPB can reverse or end up holding in this area, watch for that opportunity where we might sneak out from under that downtrend here eventually. We're so oversold in some of these uh, defensive sector stocks, you know, we're gonna need them to, to despite the fact that the market may be bearish, we're certainly going to need these stocks. So they could be on sale. Watch some of these, and there's a lot of them right now. CPB, um, Coke. Coke just got hammered yesterday to the downside. Notice that we're going to be coming into some really big areas of price support in the chart. Coke might be one of those to watch for um, a little bit of relief, an oversold relief. PepsiCo would be another. Just got pounded yesterday to the downside, just ripped it up. Other places you might want to look um, for some bullishness is healthcare. Um, obviously that's a safety safe haven for um, the market um, uh, we're going to continue to need need health care despite the fact that we're a little bit bearish here in the market and as you can see we've got this upside trend here in humana little um, rest or hold in here i'd be looking for that next opportunity to the upside here in humana if we could break through these areas in the chart well we might just turn this around and start coming up if we were to draw a trend line through here notice that we did break that little downtrend that was going on here we're holding it as a higher low that's exactly the kind of chart that I'm looking for um, in the market. So watch some of those charts. Uh, take a look at some stocks that are just, oh, they're just abysmal here. Um, Target. Target has just been pounded lower here. A lot of issues in here, some bad choices by the company, um, creating uh, more of that selling. I don't think Target's going to go away. So start watching some of these charts for some of these oversold areas here in the market. And it, it's, it's very possible it could move all the way down to here before that starts moving up. But start looking for some of these really oversold charts um, in the market because there'll be some easy pickings and a lot of these stocks are on sale. So watch them carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day in your trading and also a wonderful weekend ahead. Um, you know, I know this market's been a little bit challenging and it's been a little bit, um, uh, choppy and, and uncertain. And I don't think that uncertainty is going to go away for just a little while. Remember, we're going to begin the big bank earnings reports next Friday. So it is entirely possible that we could just continue to be choppy sideways as we wait for uh, the beginning of earnings for that inspiration to, to answer some of those questions here in the market, whether or not the earnings are going to support some of the prices. So be kind of careful and just be just be prepared for that possibility that we could still be rather soft and choppy uh, for the next week ahead. So with that, be careful, be safe, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best.